Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. What is up, my dude? So today is Wednesday. It is hump day, my dudes. Listen, I was, you know, out of commission, if you will, on Monday with like the super dizzies and just feeling absolute dog shit. I still made a video. We were still here, but I felt awful. And because I didn't take the kid to school on Monday, it has thrown me off. So I thought yesterday was Monday. I feel like today is Tuesday, all because my routine was just just a little off. And I know I'm not the only one who gets like that. When your routine changes just a smidge, it's like this weird domino effect and it feels like everything's a little wonky. That's how I'm going to feel until next Monday. I can guarantee it. Now today, Wednesday hump day, um, is an important day because the schools have done something a little bit different than we're used to in Georgia. So in Georgia, if there was inclement weather, if you will, like rain or storms or whatever, they just let classes keep going. Here, I guess maybe because we're so close to the Gulf and it can get like pretty rowdy and gnarly during storms, what they have decided to do here is yesterday, we as parents got a email, a text and a phone call. Like they hit every avenue possible. The, the county that we're in hit every avenue possible to let parents know what's happening. Cause today there's supposed to be like some pretty severe storms moving into our area. So yesterday they sent out this email, text, phone call. And they're like, Hey, listen, just a heads up tomorrow. Instead of the normal three 30 dismissal time, we're releasing the students at two 30 for their safety, the safety of the teachers and everything else, because they didn't want the kids to get out at three 30 in the middle of the storm and have to walk from a bus to bus stop to their house. Or, um, maybe they didn't want the teachers having to drive during this, whatever reason they were going to let students leave at two 30. So the man, Kevin and I, we planned today accordingly to a two 30 release. So we went to the gym this morning, which is why my tail, my tail, this is the problem. My hair looks like a tail. Look, I'm just going to start calling it a tail. It looks like I stuck my finger in a socket and all kinds of it's like a legit squirrel tail today, but whatever. So we went to the gym this morning. Um, which side note for women who y'all know how this works when you're on your period and you're bloaty and you just feel weak as crap going to the gym, not the funnest. I mean, I felt great that I went and did something, but afterwards I was like, Oh, this is a horrible idea. Like I, I, I feel weak. Um, I can't bend over without worrying that I'm going to fart because I'm bloated, all kinds of random stuff. So the man was very nice and he took me to get breakfast so I didn't have to come home and cook and stand and whatever. I'm standing for you guys, but I'm also leaning on the counter every so often. But anyway, so we planned to, we were going to do all these things today before we had to get the kid at two 30. And in the middle of breakfast, we get a phone call and a text and an email. The phones are going bonkers that they've decided to release the kids an hour earlier than the early release. So now it's a one 30 pickup. It is currently 12 15. So we have just a, over an hour to go get in line to pick up the kid because the storms are moving in faster than they expected. And right now y'all can't see it because obviously we're inside, but right now there's little trees outside that are just like doing this kind of thing. Like it's only 12 15. It's not even stormy yet, but it's so windy out. It's stupid. So we stopped on the way in, um, to pick up a delivery. I'm just going to point correctly. See that pretty box right there. That's from Dana that that's from Dana. And we stopped to pick it up and I'm going to open it, Dana, hopefully you don't mind because I don't know what's in it, but we're going to open it. But I got a text that I had a delivery at our apartment complex. We go through this thing called Luxor or whatever. That's what the apartment uses. Everything goes to a, a central delivery room because our apartments aren't open airways. There's no way for UPS, FedEx, um, Grubhub, DoorDash, even Walmart, Spark, all those places, they can't get into the buildings to drop anything off. Everything has to go through the front office or you have to be willing to stand outside and try to direct people on how to get to where you are. Right? So I got this text that I had a package to pick up and I was like, Oh, cool. I have something on order that I'm super excited about. I've never ordered from this place before. Um, and I, I only ordered from this place because it was a clearance item and it's fun. And as soon as it shows up, I'll show you guys what it is. But again, it's not somebody I've ever ordered from before. So I'm kind of excited to see how, how it looks, how, how it works, whatever. But so I thought that's what was there. So I go to the front office or the, the thing, and I put in my code to get into the, the room and everybody's stuff is in there. All the buildings, there's like little shelves of everybody's deliveries. And I go to my building and I'm looking and I see nothing. Right. And so then this other person comes in to pick up their package and I'm going, I can't find anything with my apartment number on it. So I send the man a text and I'm like, Hey, I can't, I can't find what I'm looking for. And he's like, um, how do I help with this? And I'm like, 
Good question, good question. I don't think you can, it's not a big deal. So then I have to leave the room empty handed. And this is where my brain does what my brain does. As I'm leaving the room empty handed, I can feel the girl that's in there turn around and look at me as I'm leaving. Cause we all like to, you know, we're nosy. Pe we're nosy people in general. We want to know what's going on around us and who's in small spaces with us, right? So I go to leave with nothing in my hands. And my brain goes, she thinks you broke in here and you were going to steal something. And then she showed up. So you didn't steal anything. Cause that's how my brain works. And I don't know why I think people think the worst most of the time, whatever else. So I walk out empty handed which looks weird because you can't get in there unless you had a package delivered, like unless they gave you a code, so whatever. So I go to the front office and I tell the girl there, I'm like, hey, so I got the text, I got the whatever, but there's nothing in there. I was like, did somebody take it? Did it get delivered in here to you guys? She's like, I don't know, let's go see. So she comes back over with me and neither one of us can find anything. And I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. And she goes, well, maybe they typed in the wrong apartment number. I'll keep an eye out, whatever. And then I tell her, I was like, so did you hear what the schools are doing? Because she doesn't have kids, but her boyfriend has kids who are in the school system. And she's like, yeah, you know, they're, they've moved up the pickup time to 1.30 or the release time to 1.30. She goes, I'm actually about to send out an email to the entire apartment complex to let you know that if your stuff isn't basically like bolted down, you need to bring it in. They don't normally do that unless they know that it's going to get pretty bad. So then my brain goes, I should probably be, probably be a little more worried about the weather that's moving in if the apartment complex is like, bring all your shit inside. Generally speaking, they don't do it. They're like, hey, we have wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Just make sure your stuff doesn't fly over a railing and hit somebody's car, right? Now she's like, everybody bring everything inside. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so it's gonna get bad. So I send the family a text. I'm like, hey, the kid's getting out of school two hours early here. This is why there's a storm system moving in. You know, the family's all up in Georgia, up over-ish, because we're here, so they're, yeah, up over-ish in Georgia. So I send the family a text. I'm like, hey, this is what's going on, which means that the storm's probably headed your way afterwards, so make sure you guys are paying attention, because it's good to kind of keep everybody in the same loop. And when we got here but into the apartment, Kevin went outside and brought everything in. You guys can see he put everything over there. He was like, we're just going to go ahead and bring it all in just to be safe. We're not going to wait till the last second, which sometimes I like to do. Hey, there's my sweet potatoes. I'm going to cut up and cook later. Anyway, so he brought everything in and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to record, you know, and whatever else. So I jump on my computer because I was looking for a certain thing I need for Squirrel Tribe for the, the news channel. And I came across accidentally this thing that now I'm like, oh no, y'all see this? Y'all see that? Look at that, look at that. Severe weather outbreak with tornadoes, large hail, and flooding possible across the South. Well, I live in the South. So I'm like, I should probably click on this and see what's going on because a lot of y'all also live in the South. Dana, side note, this is totally off topic, but kind of sort of on topic. Also, for those of you who don't know, if you see a female wearing super like, like designy-ish like designs on her pants or whatever else and especially sweatpants when it's nice out and like baggy stuff just assume she's on her period and just trying to like hide mask absolutely everything because that's exactly what I was today I told I told Kevin I said I kind of look like I'm either and y'all don't take offense to this because I don't mean it offensively whatsoever in the least but I either look like I'm a lesbian or I'm on my period it's one of the two things it could be two wrapped into one but that's what I felt like today because I feel a little butch in this outfit which I don't know I just like a dude anyway so I guess it makes sense but anyway this is from Dana Dana lives in Florida Dana lives in Palatka Florida and it cost her ten dollars to ship this we're in the same state and it costs ten dollars to ship this package from where she is to where I am. Totally off topic, but shipping prices are friggin' stupid these days. Like $10 for to ship? Anyway, that's not the point at all. So I'm looking at this weather thing and they're talking about how, you know, Monday's spectacular eclipse. Well, I was here for the eclipse. We were in a, we were supposed to have 90% eclipse, like not full, but we're supposed to, you know, see 90% of it. Y'all, I recorded through the whole thing um, from inside and all it did was it looked like it went from normal day to it might rain in a little bit and then back to normal day. I never would have known anything was eclipsing anything if I hadn't been talking about it and literally watching it on the NASA live feed on, on YouTube because 
it never looked like anything here. So anyway, they're talking about there's thunderstorms broke out in Texas after the totality ended. And then Tuesday morning and night, there were reports of hail in two to three inches in diameter in North Texas. And then still severe risk. And then Wednesday, the forecast is to be the most volatile day of the week. Oh, today's Wednesday. Today's the most volatile day of the week, just so we're all fully aware. With strong tornadoes and damaging straight line winds in excess of 75 miles per hour. I understand why the apartment was like, hey, psst, take your shit off your balcony right now because I don't really want a table flying through the front of my car or into the back of anybody's head, right? So taking everything off the balcony, I really hope everybody else listens because here's the thing. It's just a car. I know it's just a car, but if anybody leaves their stuff on their balcony and it flies off and it hits a vehicle, oh, fisticuffs, baby, fisticuffs. We're going to fight because you had plenty of ample time to take this shit off your balcony. But anyway, so according to this, 16 million people, <laughs> 16 million people are under the risk area Wednesday, stretching from eastern Texas to the Florida panhandle. <laughs> I'm in the Florida panhandle. I'm the whole effing panhandle right here. Smack, well, bam, smack dab in the middle. That's us. So that's exciting. So I at first was like, why is the school doing all this and releasing two hours early? It's just, you know, a storm. We've had plenty of them. It's not a big deal. Well, it turns out when the school says they're going to early release and when the apartment complex says you need to bring everything in, it turns out it's a really big deal and I need to pay better attention to what is a big deal here versus what is not. So then I pulled up the radar which I pulled it up on my phone, so I can't show you, but I pulled up the radar and you know how normally it's like green, there's like a little bit of red in there, some orange, some yellow. Normally it's more green and yellow and then maybe some orange and very small amount of red because red's the bad stuff. There's like microscopic green, a little bit of yellow, mostly orange and red right now. So I'm like, oh, okay. So the kid sends me a text and she's like, hey, after you pick me up, can we go to Walmart? And I was like, I love you so much, baby girl. But why do you think you're getting out of school two hours early so we can just like have two hours extra of outdoor family time? Not today. We're not going anywhere but home today and we're going to pay attention to what's going on and stay away from the windows because like I said, it is crazy windy. I'm watching the little tree outside just lose its ever-loving mind. Crazy windy out. So everybody from the um, eastern Texas to the Florida panhandle, be safe. My family in Georgia will probably get the, like the remnants of rain but I don't think they're going to get the 75 mile per hour winds and the possible tornadoes. Yeah. It says this will be an all day affair with severe thunderstorms likely charging through the Southern States starting Wednesday morning. So Texas is probably already getting it right now with the storms expected to lash through Wednesday night, which is through us. The largest concern will be a risk for tornadoes after dark. Nocturnal tornadoes are more than twice as likely to be fatal compared to daytime twisters. Wow. Isn't that just some fun shit to look forward to when the sun goes down? No, I'm not at all excited. Um, larger metro areas to watch are New Orleans and Shreveport in Louisiana, or Nolens in Louisiana. Is that right? Jackson, Mississippi, Birmingham, and Mobile in Alabama, and Pensacola, Florida. I'm not Pensacola, but I'm like, I'm like the, the closest you can get to Pensacola. <laughs> so we're like right here. So we'll just be... We'll be on the lookout. Now it says Thursday, the system will continue to move east to look like east this way. Well, if you guys, are, I think it the right way when you guys are watching, I think this is pointing east. I'm like a weather girl, Vanna White kind of thing right now. So it'll be moving east um, and the threat level will come down a bit, but there will still be two areas to watch for damaging storms, one across the southeast and the other, the Ohio Valley. Now the Ohio Valley was already in the news earlier this week and I think maybe it was because of the eclipse. No, no, no. It was for something else. It was for something else, y'all. And I feel awful that I don't remember what it was, but they were in the news earlier. I think maybe it was f flooding that maybe it's flooding. Maybe it was rain. Maybe it was power outages. I don't remember. Anyway, so they were also in the news. These two areas encompass 26 million people across parts of Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, and the Carolinas, uh, Georgia, and Northern Florida. Damaging winds and isolated tornadoes will be possible for cities like Jacksonville and Tallahassee in Florida, Charleston, South Carolina, Cincinnati and Columbus in Ohio, and Pittsburgh. So just as a heads up, anybody who happens to be in this little, this little section right here, <laughs> just pay attention to what's going on in your area because it could get pretty not great, pretty gnarly, pretty whatever. So I want to quickly open this 
from Dana, and then I want to talk about what's happening in this bag right here. Because we talked about Lululemon a couple days ago with the, I got delivered the entirely wrong order with somebody else's packing slip, Olivia. Poor Olivia didn't get her shorts. I didn't get my blue pants. Lululemon sent me a gift card, and so that will explain what's here. But then I learned something new today that... I don't think Lululemon's telling everybody and it's going to make a massive difference in how many people decide they will or will not spend money there. So just FYI on that. But I wanna open this real quick and I feel bad pulling tape and messing up this box because it's such a pretty box, but I also did not bring scissors over here. So we're just gonna try to break this thing open real quick. Hold on, I got it. I think I got it. Break open. Well, not break open because that's wrong. Okay, so we're here. And let's see what we got because I have no idea. Oh, it's that fun paper, y'all. That that stuff, that fun paper. Whatever you are, obviously you might be breakable, so let me not break you. All right, so that's it. There's the one, there's something in the box here. You guys ready? Let's see what this is. Now Dana, for those of you who don't know, Dana is the one who also sent maybe the bit middle of last year when the kid and I did a cooking thing. Dana actually signed the kid up for a magazine to come in monthly and it's got a bunch of different cooking tips and things like that. We've, dry, we've tried cookies so far and a cake, but that's what we've tried so far, but we've kept everything just in case for future cooking things. And then she sent her other stuff like um, a spatula and like a mitt and some other things like that, which is, I think that was from her. Or maybe that was from Mrs. Bubbles, who we haven't heard from in a very, very long time. I don't remember who sent that now. I'm not gonna lie. It was either Mrs. Bubbles or Dana. It was one of the two of you. Either way, I love you both, so you're great, thank you. And Dana, I don't know what this is yet, but I'm super excited. Let's see, on a juice cleanse, hashtag mimosas. <laughs> I love it, thank you, Dana. Look, I told the man, I said, I need a mimosa later. It feels like a mimosa kind of day. Oh, this is so pretty. Can y'all see the sparkles in there? Oh, I love some sparkly stuff. Look at that, oh, my nails pop. Yes, ma'am, making nails pop. On a juice cleanse. I mean, you drink enough juice, <laughs> mimosa juice. You might accidentally cleanse yourself if you don't know where to stop. So bleh, that's, that's still a cleanse. So thank you so much for this. I will be using this later. Um, and this may be my Monday mimosa cup next Monday, just to show everybody how great this is in case you missed today's video on a juice cleanse, Mim hashtag mimosas. Look, I love it. Thank you, Dana, very, very much for that. Put it in the sink here so I remember to wash it. I've made that mistake once where I forgot to wash something and I took, I poured something in it and I took a sip and I was like, that tastes like something shouldn't taste. So then I had to waste my drink because then I was like, oh wait, you forgot to wash it, dumbass. So that's that. So I will wash that, use that later. Now let me explain this Lululemon thing. So I've told you guys numerous times that I love Lululemon. They are not cheap. They are freaking pricey and it sucks paying that kind of money. So I wait till there's some sort of massive discount or a sale, or I have somebody has given me like a Visa or MasterCard gift card or something like that for like a birthday or anniversary or whatever. And then I will buy something from Lululemon. I refuse to pay full price for anything. The only thing I've paid full price for at Lululemon was my backpack that was $98 because it holds my computer, my iPad, my headphones, a notebook, and it's absolutely amazing. It's waterproof and it's got like the padding in it. And I needed a work bag, right? Not just like a little Jansport school backpack. I needed like a legit work bag, $98 almost the same price as if I had gone for something from like Swiss Army or from any like actual computer bags, right? So that, I paid full price. Everything else, I'm like, mm -mm, no, 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 not happening. Their pants are like all the way up to like $138. Their jackets are effing ridiculous, very expensive. But a lot of people have said that it's worth it because the materials are just, like the materials are amazing. They feel like butter, butter on your butt, which, no, don't put butter on my butt, but it does feel really good. Like I love how their pants fit, the shorts. Their shirts, not so much. I feel like most Lululemon stuff is designed for itty bitty, teeny weeny, tiny, titty to girls. Like I'm just putting it out there nicely and that's not me. So a lot of their tops and stuff, we don't really get along, but their pants, I can make do, I can make work because they stretch. So thunder thighs and booty will fit, right? So, um, when the whole thing with Olivia's yellow shorts and my pants got mixed up and I reached out to Lululemon, they, they did the return. FedEx picked it up yesterday from the front office and they sent me a $35 gift card. And so I used it to buy a pair of shorts, right? Because I have a pair of blue shorts from Lululemon and I was like, well, I want a pair of black shorts. So I have more than one pair of shorts. Look, I got this from Lululemon. This was supposed to be like $70 and I got it over right after Christmas when everything went on clearance. I got it for $20. So... Cause they're like, it's puffy, it's winter. 
bitch, I will use this in the summer. I don't care if it's a puffy thing. It's, it still works. Do I care if this thing feels warm? No. So I will use this all summer long. And so I decided to order a pair of shorts with my $35 gift card because these shorts are normally $64 for these shorts. The Lululemon Align, the six inch, those look real short, but they, they pull down a lot, but they have that, that thing in the on the butt where it's like a down and up. So it makes your butt look a little juicier because it's not a straight line across. So I really like these. So we go to the Lululemon after the gym today. We're waiting in line so I can pick up because I ordered online, right? And so we're waiting to pick it up and I'm, this lady is checking out. She's talking to the lady that works there. The lady's ringing her up. And the lady that's checking out says that she has a pair of pants. I don't know if she said pants, skirt, short, something lower half, right? And she's like, I need to bring them back in because they have like a thread loose. And you know, since it's got the lifetime warranty, I need to bring them back in and exchange them out for a new pair. And the woman behind the counter says, did you buy them under your account? And the lady goes, I don't know, I've had them for a couple of years. And she goes, oh, unfortunately, there's been a change to policy to which my ears said, ooh, be nosy, listen to everything they're talking about because hello, this will affect me, which then I wanna tell y'all about because it will affect a lot of y'all too if you use Lululemon stuff, right? So the, the, the lady who wants to do this exchange is like, what do you mean? And the lady behind the counter goes, well, it used to be lifetime warranty on Lululemon, which I've told you guys about before, which is why I'm like, that's why people pay for it. I love it. Lifetime warranty, blah, blah, blah. Well, I thought at some point I was like, there's no way they're going to be able to keep up with a lifetime warranty on something like this because things cost way more to make now than they did back then. And you're going to have more and more people over wearing, over using, or just over finessing the system and trying to get free stuff by trying to say, oh no, look a thread. And they pull it and F it up even more. They're like, I need to exchange. <laughs> I want a new pair. Thank you. And so the woman who works there was like, yeah, unfortunately people were going to like Goodwill and places like that, like Plato's Closet and Goodwill and buying a pair of Lululemon somethings for like five, 15, $30. And then bringing them back in here saying there was something wrong and they wanted to exchange them out. So finessing the system, people were going and paying bottom dollar for a high end product, right? And then finessing the system to get a brand new pair for themselves that nobody else's crotch had ever touched, which I can understand wanting, you know, non-used crotch area pants, right? So Lululemon was like, hey, we're kind of losing money right now. So then they implemented that you had to be able to prove that you bought these things with a Lululemon receipt. So Lululemon, when you buy something, um, they're like, hey, let us add you to the system. And a lot of people are like, no, I'm good. I don't really wanna be in the system because then you're gonna like overflow my inbox with like stuff. And then I'm gonna be more inclined to come buy stuff because you send me all these pictures of stuff and then I'm gonna want this stuff. So people say no. Well, if you say no, you are screwing yourself out of a warranty now. So the way Lululemon, according to the woman who worked at the one here that I went to, she was explaining to the lady, she said, the way it works now is you have to prove that it was purchased. So you have to have the receipt or we have to be able to pull it up in your file. Meaning when you check out, you have to give them your phone number, your address, your email address, whatever. When I bought these shorts online, at first I, uh, I forgot to sign in. And then my brain goes, uh-uh, go sign in fix it so that you have this under your, under your profile, under your name. And I was like, right, whatever. So I did. Damn sure glad I did because as she's saying it, she's like, yeah, so now it has to pull up under your profile or you have to have a physical paper receipt and it has to be within the last 12 months. So lifetime has now been cut in like however minis that is because it could, lifetime could have been 80 years from now. I can walk up in there all crotchety and be like, I need a new pair of little lemons. I put a hole in mine. I don't know why old people sound like that to me. I, I've got nothing. I'm picturing the old guy from um, Courage, the Cowardly Dog. Yes, I don't know why that's what I'm picturing. But anyway, um, so she, she's like, no, now it's a year. So now if you buy something and you still want to finesse the system, you have 11 years and 364 days, unless it's a leap year, uh, to um, 11 months and 364 days to take it back and try to get a new pair of something. So. I think it's worth noting, you're still paying Lululemon prices, but your warranty has been slashed significantly, like a lot, a lot, a lot. So for those of you out there who have been contemplating Lululemon, I still think that they are amazing, like the way they fit and stuff like that. I do not think they are worth the exorbitant amount of money that it costs, especially now that the warranty has changed. I say, look for the sales, wait till somebody gives you a gift card or something like that. I can't 
picture spending $138 on a pair of pants, no matter how often I wear them. I don't, I don't know. They're like, I, I, I buy a Rolex, you know, cause I've saved up forever for it and I've wanted it forever, but I can't bring myself to buy a pair of pants that cost more than 120 bucks. And my sneakers are always clearance at Nike. Priorities? I don't know if that's really a priority or not, but that's, that's just how I roll. So I just want to give everybody the little lemon heads up in case you were curious. Yeah, just topple over there uh, of what was going on there because um, inside scoop, <laughs> it's probably not, it's probably on their website by now, but I just want to tell you guys about it. So that's it. Oh, 1237. I love you all immensely. I'm going to say goodbye now because I do need to take a shower because I got a little sweaty at the gym and I feel a little, ugh. so I'm going to go take a shower, go get this kid from school. Also, I don't really like showering when it's super stormy outside. I know it's not really, I mean, it's feasible that lightning strikes somewhere and I'm in the shower and, you know, and I don't really want that. So I like to not be under bodies of water while it's lightning and whatnot's outside. So I'm going to go shower now, go get the kid and then come back here. And then I guess we'll just sit down and watch a bunch of movies and stuff until the power goes out. Cause I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Also need to charge my phone just in case. So there's that. Those of you in the path of whatever's happening here, charge up your devices, make sure you have some gas, make sure you have some stuff. That's all. So I love you. Squirrel Tribe 2.0. You are my besties and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your hump day. We're going to live stream one of these days, just, just not today because of the storms coming through. That was my original plan was a 5 p.m. whiskey Wednesday, but mimosas. Um, but we're going to do something a little different because of stupid weather. So that's it. I love you guys. Bye-bye.